write down what you want, how you see yourself to be at your greatest good. And put it as if it's happening. I am, I have. So, I am happy. I am healthy. I have meaningful relationships. Uh, my job fulfills me. Uh, the things that are missing in your life that really um, you dream of and you wish, put them on paper. Start to see them. You got to get detailed on what is it that I wish to bring into my life. Okay. I see a problem here. Tell me. Because like you said, the pain, I don't remember the pain anymore. Yes. Well, neither do I. But my notebooks reminded me. And you know what? When I was in the beginning of that, I was unhappy and I didn't know what I want. I didn't know what's possible for me. So mm. things like happiness, joy, uh, expression, I would not resonate with them at all. Mm -hmm. I remember I tried to fill out a 10-year plan for my life. Uh, Darren Hardy had something like this, so mm -hmm. I printed it out. And what do you want? What's your plan? What's your mission? What's your vision? And I was crying, filling it out because there was nothing in my mind. Mm -hmm. But it started no you. But it did. Yeah. But it started you. You got to start. It started you. Like my the list that I've written that I write now are so different than the ones that I wrote before. Mm -hmm. You are right. And maybe that's a good point because... Then I didn't know I was hopeless. I was there was mm -hmm. nothing in my mind I could hold on to as this vision of something better that would that would pull me. Just to set the intention. What is my skill? What is my my what am I good at? What can I do? I'm a painter. Great. That's all I did. I put it out there. Mm -hmm. Words, vibration, you put it out there. Your list, you're gonna write it over and over and over. Journaling the bad stuff, sure. We can journal and journal and bitch about it all the time and complain about it. Go in circles. But it keeps you in that same circle. Yeah. But how about you take a moment, sit up straight, open up your spine, open up your energy, take a couple of breaths and really settle in. If you have no creative imagination, you know what? Watch a love movie. Watch a movie that will inspire you. There was a time and period in this healing journey, and it was it's actually recent because I've been rebuilding myself in, in when it comes to relationships with a partner, with a romantic partner. I didn't know what it meant anymore to be with a romantic partner or what I wanted. So you had to create it. So from I started watching nothing. it. Yes, which means, you know what? How am I gonna get inspiration? I watch romantic movies. I've been going to YouTube and, and finding inspiring stories of people. I did research on people that had relationships, uh, age gaps, all mm. kinds of different things. It opened. I opened up my mind to all the possibilities of how people, people when they're together, they can be happy. And that actually helped me to heal me and to see that, oh my gosh, there's beautiful people out there that it's, are in love, that it's is pure. It's possible for them. Yes, so it's, it's possible, possible for, for you, yes. Envision yourself doing something that you would really like to do. Yeah, and and that's also about shifting the energy of what's going on in, in your mind. Mm -hmm. What happens also in the beginning of the journey of transformation, sometimes for months or years, mm -hmm. is that there is no dreaming, but also there is something that is the anxiety or panic attack waking you up in the middle of the night out, out of nowhere mm -hmm. and or you cannot fall asleep. So this is the nightmare, right? So in order to change the nightmare and anxiety attack, midnight anxiety attack into a dream, you have to change the energy. You have to shift the energy. And sometimes a visit, uh, the right massage studio will help or an energy, <laughs> downtown Scottsdale, and the energy healer or picking up a book. Uh, you have to shift the energy. Use your creative powers. That is your thought and your feelings, your vibration to escape that and start creating something new. And you have a physical body, right? So if we can't shift the energy of the mind, because mind emotions is this essence, right, that is movable and pliable, but we have a physical body. So if I can't work with a head, I'm going to work with my body and my environment. So 
um, I'm going to organize my, my room, I'm going to reorganize my house, or I'm going to organize my body, move my body, tap your body, shake your body, breath in, go for a walk, put a song on and dance. I mean, for me, that's been yes. super healing. And I love that you, I always forget about this part. The dancing? <laughs> the, the body part, like tapping the body, ah. shaking the body, and you always remind me yes, of that. Yes, yoga. But I also believe that, and I have done it for myself in the mm -hmm. past, that the way I use this philosophy is I dance when no one is watching. That means in the evening or in the morning mm. or when there's nobody. How about you try house. going and dancing where everyone is watching? Uh, no. I, I have done that mm -hmm. before. Mm -hmm. uh, it's That's for fun and expression. Oh. But this mm -hmm. is for the healing journey when because I believe that the body has mm -hmm. the answer. Yes. And through different movements, put some music on, especially mm -hmm. with, you know, new age maybe with no words and allow the body to guide you through the movements and something is going to be expressed. Mm -hmm. You will get to know yourself even better. Mm -hmm. So I think it's, it's very healing mm -hmm. as well. And if people can't do music without words... They can do music with words like happy that song happy the words are amazing you know there's certain songs I that like have it. words you don't like no, it no. i really liked it it made me very happy it made okay. me you know okay. so it's very personal right mm -hmm. yes mm -hmm. it's annoying to me always or it maybe is. if you've you've heard it a lot of times <laughs> i don't know it's just like too happy or maybe happy. or maybe that's the thing what okay so if you are being challenged by something that means that you, you really need it. So I think you really need happy. Then I think you really need to be more <laughs> playful and let go and have that weird, funny, cute laugh that you have and just allow yourself to be. Mm -hmm. I'll yeah. try that. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Usually the things that, that we don't like, that's our best medicine. Um. Okay. We have to, uh, you know, uh, put boundaries on that one but like with a song that happy mm -hmm. song there's a reason why don't you really like it yeah why because it's too happy like, ah yeah why why can't you be too happy <laughs> huh it goes against yeah. everything i just exactly said, right? why can't you be so happy um maybe maybe there is something about the song there you go but, but... there's always a journey to go through there's always another path to <laughs> take there's always another thing to learn and evolve within ourselves why can't you be absolutely unconditionally happy i can but not with this song okay and maybe that's part of this saturn in me mm. you know maybe okay yes what did you say about your laugh that you you need to like control your laugh to make it where it's not as, as annoying annoying yeah. I think your la your laugh is super happy. Really? Yes. So maybe this is teaching you a lesson that you really do need to let go a little bit more. Mm -hmm. 